There is a battle of man against beast going on in South Fort Worth. In a grassy area near Loop 820 and the Poly Freeway, thousands and thousands of black-tailed prairie dogs have established a huge colony. They've been playing, digging, and generally amusing themselves on the property for years. Now it's being prepared for development and the dogs have to go. Their colony is surrounded by residential, commercial, and highway property. So the Humane Society is going to transplant them to West Texas. They'll be given a good home at a lake run by the Army Corps of Engineers. Even though it's for their own good, the animals aren't being very cooperative. When workers from the Humane Society and the Parks Department showed up today, not a single prairie dog offered to go quietly. They've ignored baited live traps, so the hoses and snares were brought in. We've tried several methods in the past, nitrogen of catching prairie dogs, and this method of uh, filling the burrow with water has proved to be the, the best method of catching them, and it's going to be the easiest for us to use because it's going to be the best to use systematically and make sure we get them all. With the help of a little soap and some patience, the efforts got some results. The first of the soapy prairie dogs made a good head fake and found another hole. He was never caught. Wow. Later, the first of the trespassers was finally taken into custody and placed in a basket filled with alfalfa. A veterinarian stood by with a resuscitator just in case one of the dogs should get a little too much water. The vet says they all look fat and healthy. However, by the end of the day, it became quite apparent it's going to take months and thousands of gallons of water to even make a dent in the colony. All told, after a day of work, they only captured three of the little critters that leaves a few thousand left to go.